With the question, it was a different uh, situation. I had taken a job as an editor, the Batman editor, and had not written anything for six months. So the guy who had to deal with the money, Paul Levitz and I were walking back from dinner one night, and he said, it's about time you wrote something. And I, okay, uh, what's available? And Captain Adam and the question were things that they had acquired from another company that had gone under. I didn't want to do Captain Adam because that was Charlton Comics version of Superman. I'm always uncomfortable with demigods. I'm uncomfortable plotting for them. Superman can juggle planets. Who are you going to give him? And conflict is basic to this kind of storytelling. You're going to put him against a gangster, a pickpocket. Uh, so if you're going to be internally consistent, you have problems. Batman I love because he's a human being. So the question was available, but the question was originated by Steve Ditko. I have utter respect for Steve Ditko as an artist and as a storyteller. Scout's honor, I mean that. But politically, we're at different ends of the earth. And I could not do his version of the question with a clear conscience. Everybody draws their own line about where the conscience line is. I could not be an objectivist. I'm not criticizing objectivists. Uh, they may be right, but I don't think so. Eh. So I agreed to do the question provided I could change it a lot. And so we physically killed him off in the first issue. Uh, that was a great cliffhanger. He was dead. And I think more or less the way we worked out, it, it could happen in real life. He was went into ice cold water and he was fished out by the person who put him in there. And symbolically that was, from here on, it's not the right wing violence loving question.